stage three. Pole jumping for red coins. Let's go. Oh my god! And we're back. I swear I'm never gonna get used to that. Now this is the eight red coin mission mean meaning that this is the one hundred coin mission. Which means that I will get 100 coins, I will get 8 red coins, and I will get them all, and they will be mine. Anyway, I do have—I did get a couple of new games for my birthday, including, um... <laughs> I got Sonic Generations, which is one game that I'm definitely LPing. Because it, it's awesome. I've played through it for the most part. I haven't completed it yet. But, there's so many things in that game that I, oh, I just love that game so much. There are things I don't really like about it, but there, there's always something that you don't really like about a game, isn't there? Anyway, come over here and there's a couple of random... Whoa, glitch! Go, go back up! Mario! <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, uh... That was definitely a really weird glitch. <laughs> anyway, there's a first time for everything, I guess. There's a first time for everything. Um, I got Sonic Generations, which, yes, I will try and LP that. If at all possible. <laughs> um, there's Sonic and the Black Knight, which I'm actually thinking of LPing next. Because that, that's actually a really good game. I, I thought it was, at least. For the Wii. Which isn't really saying much because the motion stuff is kind of... Meh. But, hey, it, it's still a Sonic game. It's still got a pretty good story to it, and I, I enjoy it. And... <laughs> the last game I got... Everyone might know for its infamous name of Sonic 06. And for those of you thinking uh, for those of you thinking you actually spent money for that piece of crap, no. <laughs> they had a um they had a deal at GameStop where power for the players or power to the players. I might add um where you get two games and the third one is free. So, my third game was Sonic 06. Why did I choose Sonic 06 when there were so other so many other games that I could have chosen? Uh, I've been wanting to play it <laughs> for one. For two, um there's a fact that I couldn't find any other games that I was looking for. So, there's that. And I don't know why this fireball is here. It's kind of lonely. <laughs> I should run into the fireball just like I ran into the, um... Like I ran into the piranha plant. But I digress. As you can plainly see over here... Bowser's sub isn't here anymore. Meaning that that pathway over there is useless. Well, you can still use it, but I don't <laughs> see any reason to. If you hadn't completed Bowser and the Fire Sea, the sub would still be here and you would not be able to complete this because there'd be no way of getting all of the eight red coins. But since I have completed Bowser and the Fire Sea, I can get all the eight red coins. <laughs> anyway, um, I need to let you guys know also that I, I'm sorry that I haven't done an episode in a while. As usual, there's something wrong. Um, my mic did screw up, so for the longest time I've been going without a mic. But after that, it's just been school. I'm in genetics now, I'm in, uh, psychology, don't fall off the edge. I say as I jump off the edge. <sighs> Dear God. <laughs> um, I'm in psychology, I'm in genetics, I'm in chemistry. And I'm in art, which is actually the one of the two classes that's giving me the most trouble because the art teacher is so freaking strict. And it doesn't seem like it would be difficult, but if you don't get the colors on your... 
No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> if we've been doing this, um, the scale, which is you're more or less going from black to white, or from white to black, and you had to get all the colors in between that are um, every tenth of black or every tenth of white, however you want to look at it. And if you're not, <sighs> I'll meet you back up there. Uh, I may as well just keep on talking. If you're not perfect at it, then he'll say, oh, we'll do it again. Well, I see this wrong, I see that wrong, do it again. And it's like, come on. I've been working on this for <laughs> days. I've got so much paint on my, um, on my scale that it's bulging, covered with paint. It's more or less a gigantic chunk of plastic now because I'm using acrylic paint and acrylic paint is plastic base and a plastic base paint means guess what a ton and ton of plastic um smash grab all these but one why why not wow Buffett why not was that a smart move? <laughs> I think it was. I'm not quite sure. Will that haunt me in a couple of minutes? <laughs> I'm actually thinking it will. Um, ah, crap. This this might not be good. I swear... No, no, it won't haunt me. It won't haunt me. There is... that uh, That giant wall with Bowser's face on it isn't here anymore. Meaning that we can grab these coins that have just appeared down here. But if you're not careful, then Bowser's hole... Yes, I'm calling that Bowser's hole. That's not nasty at all. Um, Bowser's hole will suck you in, and if it sucks you in, you die. <laughs> anyway, swim away from Bowser's hole, and I'll meet you guys back up there where I keep falling off. So, one moment. Anyway, we are back. Um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've just been swamped with work. I actually have more genetics work that I'm going to do after this video is over. And before too long, I have to give a... 40 minute group presentation on a certain a certain illness anyway come over here and grab this last one and take a look at that there's one star and there's the other one both popping out at the same time and now to grab this one what you collected 100 coins Mario gains more, incurred, more power from the castle you want to save? No! I don't know what the hell just happened! You have found 70 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved thanks to you. And is Bowser ever upset? Now, on to the final bout. What the... What the hell just happened? <laughs> I just glitched down into the ground and then glitched back up. What? <laughs> Anyway, um, the second thing that I wanted to show you guys, there is a way of getting up here with this. And it's... Not that easy. <laughs> As you can plainly see. <laughs> this is gonna be the last, um, the last stage that I do for this episode, though, by the way. Um... Anyway. You can make this jump. I swear to you that it is possible to make this jump. And if you're on the switch and the timer runs out, then the switch won't pop up underneath you or any stupid thing like that. Anything that makes sense, like you, the switch would pop up and you hit it. I'm going to get it up there. I will get up there and it'll be mine. And you guys are thinking, just go the normal way. It's going to take about the same amount of time. <laughs> Ha! 
there. Jump up into it. Here we go! There's the star. And that's the last star for this episode, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and try and be a little bit more constant with my episodes from now on, but I I'm sorry guys, it's it's just been hectic. I'll try and get used to everything, I'll try and I'll try to post episodes more frequently, but I, I, I can't promise anything, I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me, which sounds really nasty, but I don't care. So yeah, this has been Irvin Cascade for Let's Play Super Mario 64. Take care, have a good night, and I hope to see you all again. Now I'm going to go and eat my fried chicken. Later!